Hello, I'm David. Welcome to our first episode Shenzhen Sea Dragon School Tour. Today, we're excited to show you our corporate schools. I'll show you their school campus and the facilities. Okay, let's go. So firstly, let's meet our teacher today. His name is Marcus. Hello. Hello, Hello Marcus. Hi. How are you doing? David, nice to see you. How are you doing, Marcus? Great, welcome, Good. welcome to my okay. school. Welcome to All right, here the school. Okay, yeah. as you can see, we have a beautiful garden. I run right side after you enter the school. Okay, students just finish their morning exercise. Yes, just finished their morning exercise, so they're going right back to class now. So. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, so Come on let's go. in, let me show you around. Okay, perfect. Wow, that's a very large school. Yes, very large school. So we have over in this section here, we have uh, grade four in this big curved okay. side over here. And we also have some of the offices for a bunch of the teachers. Right. And then going over this way and farther down, we have other grades. So one, two, three, five and six are and six. farther this way. And all the way down, we have even our um, seven, eight, and nine across wow. the street over there. So. Oh, so mm -hmm. it's primary school and middle school Yes, we together. also have some after, but uh, mostly in just in this gated area, it is all just primary school, yes. Okay, perfect. Nice. Let's go. Yes, this is one of the libraries for the students that we have. It um, okay. has a lot of the books that we, they use or read during classes and there's a bunch that you see set up, say, on like tables out wow. here during their breaks and whatnot. They can read. And yes, inside here. Okay, shall we go have a look? Sure, let's go take a look at okay. the library okay. here. Okay, so, wow. What a big library. Yes, it's a very big library. Lots of resources right. here that the children can see, use. Lots right. of textbooks that they keep in here as well, but... Uh, lots of things that they can store and use and it's a space where you can it's a little bit quieter you can mm -hmm. read as well when you have your time for your breaks or in between classes and perfect stuff. perfect so mm -hmm. as you can see the government and school they invest a lot of money to fill in the facilities and the, those set up the environments i think the school and the government pre uh, prepare a nice environment for all the students to study and great resources like books, an online resource as well over there. Okay, all right, great. Let's go. Now let's uh, take you around and show you a few other things. Okay, oh. okay Marcus. Yes. Please uh, introduce yourself a little bit. Hi, I'm Marcus Toy. I come from Canada, and I've been. Uh, working here in China as an English teacher here at uh, Longgang Experimental School of Shenzhen. So it was a lot of fun to be working here and uh, now I'm glad to talk to you all about my experience. Okay, excellent. So how many classes do you have right now? Right now I have about 13 classes. So I teach grade four, so there's 13 classes and then we have our extra clubs. So okay. twice a week we have our student English salon, which I have for some grade five students. And then we have our student broadcast, which uh, we were doing some audio broadcast. We usually play twice a week at lunch, but wow. now we're moving to a video format. So about once a month that we're going to be that doing that. That sounds online. interesting. Yes, very okay. interesting. Okay, um, do you live inside a campus or? Uh, not on campus. I have an uh, apartment uh, about 10 minutes away. It's uh, pretty close by, so I have a uh, a very short, short commute, but it's really easy to get here. Okay, excellent. So how long will it take you to commute to school every morning? Um, only about maybe 10 minutes if I walk, about 15, but 10 if I'm taking a little scooter. So it's uh, it's really nice and easy to come to school. Yeah, scooter is definitely the best choice. So later, let's go to your classroom. Right? Yes, we'll go to the classroom and maybe I can show you how I teach a class. Oh, excellent. Great. Looking forward to it. All right, let's go. Okay, Marcus, um, please introduce your textbook to our teachers. All right, so. well, for my class, I'm actually teaching science in English, so wow. I have a light-up science textbook. 
Um, this is about talking about all the physical sciences that we teach in our classroom, and it's really, really helpful mm. to show and demonstrate for them. So, yeah. Wow, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what else do you have come with the book? Uh, well, you have a PowerPoint? Yes. So our books, they come with uh, a little CD at the back of them. I think I have one of the CDs in here. Yes. In the back of them, they usually give you some supplies like a CD with a whole bunch of PowerPoints and whatnot right. that'll have here. So I have one of the PowerPoints. You can change it up to how you would like to teach a little bit, but for the most part, it has the basic ideas, how they want to progress through the lesson, and get the general concepts so that the students can understand. Okay. Yes. I saw lots of bunch of textbooks over there. Yes. Uh, so the homeworks all. Or just the textbook? Right? These are so. just the textbooks. So we bring these to every class so the students have them. Um, but uh, homework is not uh, so much important in our classes because uh, they are, the students are already very busy in their own English, in their own Chinese, in their own uh, other uh, classes. So we try to limit the amount of homework that they have. If you do assign it, yes, there are a few things you can do. but. Uh, for the most part, we try and contain all of our teaching material in our lesson, if we can. So this okay. here is well, our class that we'll be teaching in today. Oh, Students right now are, I think, are in gym class, but we can take a quick look and inside. Right, excellent. Let's go. Oh, what a large classroom. Yes, nice and Large, got lots of lots and lots of students, all their desks set up here. Okay. Um, typically, we have them all up here. Usually, the teacher's desk is up front. Mm -hmm. We have our, uh, our screen up front where we can put our PowerPoints or our lesson for our uh, whatever lesson we have today. I think today I have uh, I'm starting a new unit of, in my science class, so it'll be a, a good one for us. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the facilities. What do we have here? So, this table this is, is a central uh, control platform? Yes, so this is where we have all the things where we can plug in, say, our PowerPoint, use the computer. We can uh, control it from here as we do that. Mm -hmm. Also, we have, usually in our rooms, we have microphones, so if you don't want to screw to your voice, you can always use the microphone to make sure the students are wow. listening. So. It's a little bit easier, it saves your voice a little bit, in ours anyways. That's great, because teacher have been talk, have to talk for a long time a day. Yes. Um, so let's look at this projector. Ah, yes, let me turn it on for you there. Okay. Okay, put that there. Make sure that's on. It'll just start up in a second here, but pretty easy, convenient. We'll have uh, our computer here. This is also a touch screen, so oh. uh, you can just use this as you, with your fingers as well. But if you need to do more refined, you can always use the mouse and mouse. keyboard. Mm -hmm. I think the keyboard's, yeah, it's underneath here. Oh. So, if that's a... All right, let's, let's look at it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, it's just a computer built in to the screen, right? Yes. So don't have to worry about uh, too much. Like we do have our blackboards yes, that we can use to do our lessons and draw things, mm -hmm. but it's very convenient to have our computer over here so we can have access to say, even the internet and our school has a system where we can share files to each other Brilliant. so we don't have to bring things all over. Oh. So yeah. Just the pointer. Uh, yes, I will you have close that I think. Okay, yes. So we can do a few things. You can also have, I think, overhead projectors, whatnot. So if I connect this and turn the camera on on the computer here, then uh, oh, and you can see yourself. Look over at that. Here. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, you can see yourself and also change it to your. Uh, over top here, so okay. I can have my thing so visualized up here. You can project your like hot copy materials here. Yes, and yeah. all students can see that. Okay. Yes. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's going to uh, work. Also, well. I heard if someone like a sick been staying home, mm -hmm. they also can enjoy your class as well yes. through the 
the so, live system. Yes, yeah, so we have access to online programs like Ding Talk or Ding Ding. As you have, you can use that to uh, broadcast online so that the students can follow along and whatnot. So those are all convenient based so all the wow. students can learn even if they're not in class physically. Wow. Okay, class. Class begins. Come on in, come on in, come on in. All right. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Boy. All right, please sit down. Let's get ready. All right, for today's class, as you can probably tell, we are going to be learning something new. Come on in. Come sit down. All right. We need to remember our rules of class, though. So please, number one is to listen. listen. So make sure when we are talking, when I'm talking, make sure we listen. And if I ask someone else to talk, make sure we listen, okay? All right. Number two, make sure you put your other textbooks away. So if I see your desk, if your desk has all these other books, we don't want that. We want to put them into your desk. So, yes, if you have all these other things, please put them in your desk. All right. Number three, speak English. So that means I speak English to you, you speak English to me. If we can, please use as little Chinese in our class because we all want to practice our English. Do we understand? Yes. Okay, good. And number four, raise your hands for your questions. If you have a question, raise your hand up high and I can choose you. Please don't yell and shout out your answers. And last one, make sure you try and write down notes in a notebook if you can. So we remember what we learned. And last one, be nice to the textbook. So I don't need you bending or throwing it or writing in my textbook. It's not yours, okay? So please be nice to the textbook. Do we understand our rules? Yes. Come on in. So we are going to start with the water cycle today. The water cycle. So today, the first thing we're going to learn about is who, what is this? Clouds and rain. So we have clouds that are in the sky and rain. Now, what are clouds made of? What are clouds made of? Do we know? What are clouds made of? Mm, does anybody know what clouds are made of? What's inside the clouds? What's in the clouds? Yes. Water. Yes. There's water in clouds. And if where does the rain come from? Yes. From what? Where does the rain come from? Uh, yes, so if the clouds are made of water and the rain comes from clouds, then the rain is also water. So we're going to learn how our clouds have all the water, how we get water in our clouds. Have you ever seen a cloud that looks like this? Have you ever seen a cloud that's like this? Okay, so maybe some people see things in the clouds. So what I want you to do is we're going to draw some clouds that you might see in the sky. So I have some paper. We're going to hand them out, okay? All right, let's see some of your drawings you're making. Ooh, wow, that's a very good one. <laughs> that looks nice and fun. Nice. Okay, one more minute, one more minute. Try and draw your clouds. Let's see what kind of clouds we have all over here. Very good. Okay, do you have a cloud? Okay, come up to the front and show us what your cloud looks like. Okay? Show us your cloud. Ooh, what's in your clouds? So what does your clouds look like? What do your clouds look like over here? What's, what are these ones? 
Is it a dirt in a certain shape? What does it look like? What is, what's in this one? The cow is the shape. Ah, okay. Very good. So there's all different shapes. You have small clouds, big clouds, clouds that go up, down. Yes, very good job. There you go. Back to you. Thank you. And let's see, who else wants to show their cloud? Does anybody else have a cloud they want to show? Oh, very fluffy clouds. We have some nice fluffy clouds over here. Very good job. So we have some small clouds, some big clouds over here. All those ones in the sky. Thank you very much. Good job. You can go sit back down. Clouds are really heavy. Wait, class, wait. Great. Okay, so we just uh, have the development center. Could you tell us what it's about? So the development center is a place where students and also teachers can come to do certain things. Like inside there's uh, things like the swimming pool in here. There's wow. badminton, ping pong, wow. a gym out here. Also a concert hall and a little uh, lounge also for to relax as well. Okay, let's go. Have a look. Let's go take a look. Cool. Okay. okay. Nice look. No, okay. Ah, so well, bad. Maybe not here, but I can show you this one. It should be open. Okay. It's usually open. If not, that's okay. Oh, nice. This is your main concert hall. Oh, so, like, right. where we have the student assemblies and all of that. So, like a, a concert or presentation? Hall? Yes, yes, yes. So, we usually have, like, student wow. talent shows or you know we had our uh, uh, Chinese students gonna do the performance usually mm -hmm. here and also as well as the teacher meetings right yes actually there's teachers meetings we can have in another place as well we have more of a, a lounge type area mm -hmm. right behind this I can show you as well okay cool oh, let's go me have this a look. Way. So you can see like there's a bunch of performances that they've done in the okay. past, lots of those. Past the history. Wow. Yes. Wow. And over inside here, this is also very new. They just did this. Mm. But we have an area. This is more so for teachers have had a bunch of meetings in here and also discussing a little bit quieter away from the students. So. You actually have, we have our little like coffee lounge, so coffee what? and tea you can have here, so. That's great. It's coffee machine, so mm -hmm. are these free? Uh, I mean. These are provided by the school, yes. So wow. we don't have to do that, so I think we can. I'm so excited. If you want, but I don't know. <laughs> let's see if I have it. Yeah, let's see. A... Yes, these are all set up, so people have their wow, cups, the cups and whatnot, so we can have our, our tea. I can be a barista for you if you really want it. <laughs> it's okay, not today. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. But yes, this is uh, some things that we have oh. just for our convenience so that we can uh, have a place to relax uh, during, say, mm -hmm. our breaks or lunch. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time, Marcus. Thank you. Okay, welcome to join Sea Dragon. And uh, please don't forget to follow and subscribe. Thumb up. <laughs>